just gonna open it with you all. Did I open it wrong? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maxine, if this is your first time here. And today I'm going to review the new NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. The shade that I'll be reviewing, as you can see from the title, is Marquise. And the reason why I picked this shade to review and do a wear test is because I went based off of the last foundation that I have, and that is the Soft Matte Complete Foundation. Now I have the Macau and Marquises, if I'm pronouncing that right, and they're both medium deep, but I always feel when I'm doing my foundation, I'm always reaching for Marquise. And I find that this has more red undertones and this one is more neutral and anytime i wear this i feel like i'm way too light and bright so that's why i went with marquise in the um light reflecting foundation so before i get started um i'm just gonna share some of the information that they share on their site this is not a medium to full coverage compared to the soft matte foundation soft matte complete foundation this is very close to the sheer glow foundation now i did have the sheer glow foundation a few years ago and i absolutely loved it that was the first foundation that i ever wore from nars and since wearing that foundation i feel anytime i try other brands i'm always going back to nars when it comes to the closest shade range to my skin it says this is a natural finish um the coverage is medium to buildable and the benefit at is is that it's a makeup skincare hybrid foundation vegan formula breathable and all day wear i did do my eyebrows offline first i'm going to start with priming my face with the milk hydro primer and I'm just going to add that two or three pumps to my skin. If you see me looking this way, it's because my mirror is here. So I'm going to apply that on my skin. Now I just did like a 10 day fast and that fast <laughs> cleared up my skin so much and I absolutely love it. Um, I was on a Daniel's fast if any of you have done a Daniel's fast and I was only eating um, fruits and veggies for 10 days which really cleared up my skin a lot so the pack so we're gonna open this package let's see so this is how it looks now this is very similar to the sheer glow except it's not as thick as the sheer glow bottle and this compared to the soft matte foundation it's about the same size so this is one fluid ounce I'm just gonna open it with you all did I open it wrong hold on hold on I think I opened it wrong <laughs> yes I did okay <laughs> so this is what it looks like so it does come with a pump um, and now I'm just gonna use my um, my foundation pan or a pan just to apply my foundation so here so I did about two or three pumps and that's what it looks like um, it is a little red and I am first going to use a flat brush to apply this foundation. Yeah, I think I want to use a brush before I use a beauty blender. So to get started, let's see. We're just gonna let's start here. Not bad. So you can see that it's red. So this is where you could see some of my acne. So I'm just gonna go over that. And I will be showing you all what this looks like in natural light. So this is what three pumps did. And now I'm gonna use my beauty blender, a wet beauty blender to blend this all in. So 
so I do have some dark spots and as you can see it is a light coverage and I'm just gonna go in with this and I'll show you all what it looks like in natural light because I do have this ring light that is bright I did not put any on my nose but this is what it looks like so this is uh, medium coverage for sure because I could see some of my um, acne scars my hyperpigmentation you could see that here then I'm just gonna go in with that on my forehead it does feel lightweight it, it, it doesn't feel like I have anything on It feels it definitely does not feel like I have anything on I am I do want to go in with just one more pump I don't know if you could see that yeah so I did one more pump and I just want to go over that on my cheeks so that I could hide the um, acne scars oh, just a little more so I am going over that with my beauty blender I know that the beauty blender does remove some um, formula and sometimes the, the, the foundation or the product stays on the beauty blender, but yeah, this is what it looks like. And honestly, I like it. I like it. Let me know what you think in the comment section. What do you, do you think this is too red? Um, I do have some natural, naturally, I do have like light shades around my face, but overall, I think this is, this is something I could see myself wearing, you know, regularly. So now that the foundation is on, I do want to set my face. So I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier setting powder just to set the foundation so yeah let me know what you think first impression I, it, it definitely is medium to light coverage um i want to wear this regularly to see how it improves my skin over time but for the coverage itself if you don't want full coverage this is a perfect medium to buildable coverage when I went in with that second shade of foundation it certainly did cover up my blemishes a little more but first impression it looks like skin what do you think does it look like skin to you okay so yes let me go in with the setting powder see how that sets because I do want to test this That's really nice. I'm looking at it from the natural light and it looks flawless. But you tell me what you think. I'll show you guys a clip once I'm done. But I really like how it looks. So now I'm gonna do my regular makeup routine because I'm testing this foundation, I'm not going to do too much on my skin. So I'm going to do my eyes. I'm going to keep it very minimal. I'm going to use my LA Pro Conceal in this shade Chestnut. I'm just going to go over that on my eyelids.
using the same beauty blender that I used the foundation. And then I'm going to use the same Laura Mercier to set my eyes. Again, I'm going for a very natural look. Don't want to put too many colors. Then I'm going to conceal my under eye. I'm going to use the Tarte Shaped, um, Tarte Shaped Concealer in, what is this? In Deep 53N. beauty blender just to blend that in So now I am going to set my under eye. I'm going to use a Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and set my under eye. You guys, this really looks great. Oh yeah, let me go in with some bronzer. I'm like tempted to, should I go in with bronzer? Should I not? I think I want to just a little bit, just a little bit. I'm gonna go in with my Juvia's Palace um, in dark and I'm just gonna go in with this shade. Not a lot. But if I didn't need, I don't need to go in with anything because the foundation does look great. But my preference with how I want my makeup to look. This is, yeah. So you see that it's a little, a little warm. Again, I just want to go in lightly. Very light. depends on your t-zone too like if you have an oily t-zone the bronzer can make it more more um what do i want what am i trying to say the bronzer can make it more obvious that you have an oily t-zone i'll get that later um okay so that's that i I think I'm like tempted. Do I want to go in with the shade on my eyes? I think I like the natural look, but I do want to go use like a brown on my lid. So I'm going to go in with the same shade 
as the bronzer. Just lightly. To give it a more natural look. doesn't look like I have anything on but that's the look I'm going for okay all right so now I'm just gonna use um, my eyeliner just to line my eyes I'm gonna have to use a closer mirror because my mirror is a bit Okay. Your girl wears glasses. Okay, so. And I don't have my contacts in, so. what do you think about this foundation I am really happy that I went with this shade Marquise this is very similar to the um, to the I keep forgetting the name the soft matte complete foundation and you do get the skin like look if that's what you're going for so I really like how this is looking and just you know and I haven't even used any setting spray so it's looking like a win for me <laughs> it's a win for me so if this if this is your shade range and you're not sure I, I could see myself um, wearing this in the summer as well I'm just not sure what my shade will look like in the summer because I haven't been um, outside with the pandemic. And you know, this says it improves your skin over time. So I'm curious what your skin will look like after a few wears. Lash number one in <laughs> and these are I think this is Ardell lashes had them for a while okay so now I'm just gonna put some I use the Maybelline Last Sensational Luscious Mascara. Um, probably don't need any, but I like that extra oomph. What do you think? Should I go on the lashes on the bottom? Yeah, I want to go. Not too much. This is not what I do every day as far as putting lashes, I mean mascara on my under eye. So now I'm gonna go in with lips. I'm going doing a nude color, going in with MAC. Uh, is this cork or chestnut? I think cork. No, this is chestnut. And And I don't 
don't think I mentioned this. I have combination skin. So my skin is, yeah, combination with my, I love Honey Love, Honey Love by MAC. This is my, you can see, this is my favorite lipstick. I use this every day if I'm stepping outside. So this is, I, def, I use the Ombre. And then I go in with my NYX Butter Gloss to blend that just a little more. And this is the final look. Okay guys, so the time is now 1.43. Um, it is late <laughs> So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this foundation sit in for a few more hours and then come back to let you guys know um, What are my impression after a few hours of wearing this and? Give you guys back um, Let you guys know my feedback. So let me know what you think um, First impressions. What do you think about this shade? Um, do you think it's too wet? Do you think it's too? Um, deep let me know right now it does not feel like I have any foundation on it is very lightweight um you know I even forgot that I put primer on that's how light it is and especially the milk um, hydro primer which you know holds on to the foundation so this is what it looks like it honestly looks beautiful like you saw my skin and it is medium coverage now i do have some breakouts and i don't i'm not going for a full coverage look so first impression this looks great for every day okay guys so i'm in front of a window and this is what we're looking like with natural light it doesn't look bad it, like i said it does give a flawless finish it doesn't look like i have foundation but this is what it looks like after right after filming the video. So tell me what you think. Hey guys, so I'm back. Um, the time is now 8.02 and this is what we're looking like after a few hours of wear. I am in the bathroom, so if you wanna see a close up of my skin, it still looks intact. You could see that the finish is still good. This is the final look. It's the win in my book. Let me know. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.